Welcome back, guys. We were having an amazing time in Cologne. We had seen so much so far. We had tried some amazing Cologne beer, walked along the Rhine River, visited the Chocolate Museum, which was awesome, and even saw the famous Cologne Cathedral. Overall, we were having a great time so far, and we knew we wanted to stay overnight, so we were looking for a place that was close to downtown that wouldn't break our bank. We found this in the Hilton Cologne. The Cologne Hilton is located right next to the train station, only about a block away, and it's right next to the cathedral as well. The hotel itself doesn't seem extremely new, but it's still a comfortable and quiet space. The hotel has all the amenities you'd expect to find in a German hotel, including a few places to eat, as well as a fitness center and business center. When it came to food, the place where we got breakfast was called the Conrad Restaurant. This is located right on the main floor and is actually a pretty big space. There's plenty of seating for all of the hotel's guests, and we never had a hard time finding a table. There are all types of things that you could eat here, including things from hot dishes, like eggs, bacon, and sausages, to cold dishes like fruits, as well as plenty of pastries. There were even these nifty coffee machines, which was nice because the service was pretty slow. We also really liked these Hilton branded water bottles. They were pretty cool. Right outside the Conrad restaurant was another restaurant that was more for sit down occasions called the Pigeon Post Restaurant. This was a pub style restaurant which had a full service bar as well as several tables to sit at. We decided to eat here the first night that we stayed and really enjoyed our food. Catherine got a seafood bisque and I got the lamb. The only thing we can say about this food is that while it was good, it was very, very pricey for the portion size. Another service this hotel offers is room service, so we knew we had to try this. We ended up getting three different dishes, two desserts, and an appetizer, as well as a couple beers. The appetizer was very good, and the desserts were absolutely delicious. This was a great way to get food if you didn't want to go down to one of the restaurants. Now that we've taken a look at the food and amenities at this hotel, let's take a look at the hotel room itself. We were in a little bit of a weird spot right off the elevators, but this is the tour of our king bedroom, room 608. All right, so coming in the front door, right to the left here is the bathroom. And as you can see, it's a very sizable bathroom, great big vanity mirror, single sink, but that's okay. And this bathroom, like so many here in Germany, has a nice towel warmer, um, one that actually works. We've had some hotels that the towel warmer didn't work or we weren't able to adjust it, so that was nice. And then we actually have a great big shower here, as well as a bathtub. Now, this is not an accessible room, um, but we still have... The, the bathtub here. So it was kind of nice to have both options. Um, and then both of them were very easy to use. There wasn't any weird controls or anything like that. With that shower too, I mean, the water heated up pretty much instantly. It was, it was really nice. We didn't have to wait for warm water, um, even though we are here on the sixth floor. So that was nice. And then of course you get all the same Hilton bath products that you normally would get. To the right of the door, we have the big closet area. And you can see there is plenty of room in this closet right now. We just have our coats hung up in here. But in the closet, you'll find an iron and an ironing board, which is really nice. We don't have to go to some kind of communal laundry room or anything like that. Plenty of space up above for empty suitcases. Plenty of space down below for shoes or anything else you might need to put in here. It does have a hair dryer and then also a safe. 
And this room also does come with slippers, as you can see, although we didn't, uh, we didn't use those, but they do come with individually packaged slippers if you want to use those. And if the mirror in the bathroom wasn't big enough for you, there's also a full-size mirror right out by the doorway. And then right by the closet, we have an area for the fridge. It's not a stocked mini bar, but if you want anything, you can go down to reception. And then just over to the side here is an area with all of the coffees. It is a kettle, and then it has teas and coffees here for you as well as a bottle opener, which came in handy. So then walking into the room, and you can see it is a very big, bright, and airy room when the windows are on. Very cozy feel, even though it is a really large room. And there's actually this huge area, um, which, which really isn't used, but you can see the, uh, the nice wood floors here. There's a fairly large TV uh, that you can use here. It is not a smart TV, but it gets all of the local and cable channels. And then there's a little table over here with just one chair, so you can't really use it as a dinner table um, if you have more than one person here, but it worked all right for just getting a laptop out or doing some work. This room does have a king bed, which came in very handy. It was a nice big bed. We both slept very comfortably. And then on either side of the bed is a lamp, a smaller reading lamp, and then also switches for the lights in the rooms. There is just a normal EU plug here. There are no USB plugs anywhere near the bed. Um, which would have been nice to have. A lot of hotels have those now, but this one did not. And just by the bed here, uh, we have this nice little seating area. It's a really big and wide couch. Um, it's not a pull-out couch, but you could probably sleep a person here very comfortably. If you needed to sleep two people here, you could. Um, it wouldn't be as comfortable, but, but this is a really, really big couch. It's nice to have in the room. Catherine wanted to hide these because she thought you guys would think less of us if we had some beers in the hotel room, so, right? <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? <laughs> Something nice here, too, is that there is a climate control system. It, uh, to be honest, did not work the best, um, but it is a climate control system, so we were able to get the fan running. We could not get constant fan going, though. It was only when the air conditioner or heater would turn on, which was a little annoying, but it is still here, I guess. This may just look like a table, too, but if you did have to work over here, there are plenty of plugs that you can use here, including the EU plug, and then there is actually a, like a UK plug there as well, and then some USBs. Yeah, so overall this room worked out pretty well for us. It was big enough. We got great night sleeps here. And we were a little bit concerned because this room, as well as the other room that's like this, are right off the elevator. Um, and it's actually right before you even get into the hallway for the rest of the rooms. So that is one nice thing, is we don't share any wall neighbors here. We've got an elevator on one side of us and stairway to the other. But if you get a lot of noisy people coming off the elevator, that could be a little disturbing. That didn't happen to us, and we're here on a weekend, so um, hopefully that's a good sign. And then the other real complaint we had was the Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's just because we're on the end of the building, but the Wi-Fi was very spotty. A little bit more spotty than we're used to uh, with these Hilton hotels. For instance, this morning, I spent probably 15 minutes trying to connect. It was just not working and then when i did connect it was extremely slow we thought the service here was really good as well um, both down at reception and then at breakfast we did get dinner in the hotel as well and the service was really good there plus we did actually order room service because we wanted to try that out this hotel does have one of those qr codes you can scan order room service right on your phone without having to call anybody and it's very easy to find here and that worked out perfectly. It was basically you scan it, you pick what you want, you choose your payment method, and then it comes right here. And it got here in about 15 or 20 minutes. So it was very fast as well. One great thing about this hotel is the location. That was probably the biggest reason we picked this hotel. It's 
two blocks away from the Cologne Cathedral. It's a few blocks away from the train station. It's really kind of central to everything you want to see in Cologne. So we hope you enjoyed this hotel review and we hope that it gives you some good information about this Hilton Cologne Hotel. If you like what we did here, please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Hey!